Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. We just killed Cosmo Memory in the last video, er, Cosmo Memory. We just killed Lost Number in the last video and got all the stuff. We've almost cleared out the Shinra Mansion. Uh, although, um, yeah. Okay, these guys, <laughs> uh, are the guys that we want to get our last enemy skill from. But, <laughs> the problem with these guys jerseys uh, is that they won't do that enemy skill once they've been attacked so we just have to be quiet let them do stupid stuff so I know this is a pain but they will uh, eventually if my experience was anything uh, like my practice file they'll start just casting it like crazy they get really nuts about it. If they haven't been attacked, too, it's... This is the skill right here. And he hit the one person who didn't... Oh, no, she got it. Okay, good. Um, It does no damage if you haven't been attacked because it... I just needed to see what people's uh, thing was at. So we need them to hit switch now. And then we can just use Meteor Rain to just destroy them if we want. It is a little obnoxious, but like I said, they will. Okay. Fantastic. There we go. Now, uh, that um, enemy skill actually does damage as a physical attack. Uh, and it varies based on um, the difference between your maximum hit points and the hit points you have. So the more damage you've taken, the better it does. That's why it did zero to us, is because we hadn't hit those guys. And like I said, their programming never allows them to cast it in a situation where it would be useful, which is funny. Alright. Preemptive attacks rock. They're essentially just a free battle for us. And we are getting, I mean, we are going up levels and stuff. It's nice. And we're at 38. I mean, which is pretty far ahead of probably where we should be. You definitely shouldn't be able to kill Lost Number as easily as we did. At this point in the game. So, let's use our key to the basement. <laughs> the coffin. I love the coffin. To wake me from this nightmare. Who is it? We all know what's going on here. I've never seen you before. Wait. Blah, blah. Never seen you before. You must leave. He sounds like Luigi. Now, my vampire is also my Luigi. Oh, well. You were having a nightmare? How bad was your dream? <laughs> a nightmare. My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. The mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. <laughs> like, you can say that again. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, what, don't say anything or talk about Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Talk about Sephiroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream. It's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secret hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth. You know Sephiroth. Both at the same time. You know Sephiroth. You know Sephiroth. <laughs> okay. There we go. He can fly. It's awesome. You will start first. And now we have to tell him the whole story. Like, yada yada, blah blah blah. Okay, good. That's how it was. <laughs> That's how it always will be. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago, and about the Genova project. He was missing, 
But just, just, just recently, oh, no, this is us. He was missing, but he just, just recently reappeared. He's taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. Sorry. Now it's your turn. Sorry. I cannot speak. Hmm, I'm disappointed. I am also disappointed. Hearing your stories has added upon me yet another scene. Blah! <laughs> More than nightmares shall come to me now. More than I previously had. Blah, blah! <laughs> Sorry. No, please leave. Shut the door. Tip the, tip, don't forget to tip your waitresses. Alright, talk to him again. We're, gonna, we're getting you out of this coffin, buddy. You're still here. Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with the Shinra Manufacturing Department in Administrative Research, otherwise known as the Turks. And his name is Vincent. Vincent. The Turks? Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Switch, formerly of soldier. You were also with Shinra. Then do you know Lucretia? <sighs> Alright. Th those, the names of like... Uh, okay. Um, you know what? This... <sighs> yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Who? Lucretia. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong. Blah. But just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucretia. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So the punishment was sleep? That's weird. Oh. So the punishment was sleep? That's weird. There we go. Okay, leave. I'm done with him. He's a jerk. Wait. If I go with you, will I meet Ojo? Don't know, but we're after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucretia. Alright, I've decided to go with you. What? You're... What? You're coming with us? Being a former Turk. I may be of help to you. All right then. So now we could reform our party if we wanted to, but we're gonna leave him right where he is. All right, everybody. Uh, you know, um, I uh, I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. Okay, what I wanted to do was I I actually wanted to prepare, um, to uh to to talk about the reference to the name Lucretia. Which is uh, is an amazingly deep and detailed kind of reference to um, a, a kind of uh, an incredible historical kind of thing. And like, here's what Lucretia was the 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 son or the wife of a noble in Rome when Rome was still a monarchy, and she was famously she was raped by the prince of Rome, and uh gathered people together, disclosed the rape, and killed herself. Um, thus starting, that incident started the Roman Republic. Uh, it was the reason to overthrow the monarch. Now, like, the, the idea that a character who is famous, because, like, references to Lucretia are all over Western literature. All over. Um, the most recent thing I am aware of uh, although I did go check Wikipedia, and apparently Megadeth wrote a song about it, uh, I wasn't aware of that, uh, is there's a Sisters of Mercy song called Lucretia, My Reflection. Uh, but certainly it's part of kind of Roman mythology and middle age, uh, kind of morality plays. 
and stuff, but the idea of making a woman who is famous for being raped the subject of a scientific experiment that um, I have to show the guy in the basement. I have to. There's an enemy in the basement that's just weird. Um, the, uh, the, the mother of Sephiroth is an amazing kind of statement and context to, like, put this whole, like, Vincent's backstory in. And we're going to meet Lucretia again. Um, like, that story is going to be flushed out more in the plot line of the game. But, uh, it's just one of those, it's a surprising video game reference for me. Anyway, to hear that made. It's very adult. Like, not, don't get me wrong, this game is very adult. Like, nobody can kid anybody about the fact that Final Fantasy VII is, is one of the best-selling games of all time because of how it doesn't treat its audience uh, like they're seven. Um, that's that's what I had to say about that. Is that it? Just it's a, it was a shocking reference for me to see in practice. Like to go, oh man, like. I mean, it really is. It's one of those. It's one of those facts. It's one of those kind of historical stories that's foundational in kind of Western literature and Western culture. Uh, even though you don't, um, we're going to be dealing with a lot more of this. Uh, well, we already have at this point because this video. I'm recording this ahead of the other thing, but uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Greek references coming up in Tomb Raider. Here he is! Okay. He counts as two people. So Ying is one of them. The other one is Yang. And he's just very, I, he's just very unlike any other kind of enemy. He'll talk. Like, yeah, he does the sadistic attack. Like, one of the more colorful enemy inventions. So Yang is also level 24. It's his other half. So we'll just beat him up. Uh, you'll, if you, you, when you kill one half first... Uh, the other half will continue on. I mean, it's not. And the sprite changes, which is a little creepy. I believe we're attacking the half that's weak to magic. Because he is a di he's he's dichotomous, in that he has he is actually uh, he is actually two enemies. Yeah, Yang's happy. He'll just he'll say things like that. It's creepy. There we go. So we're gonna we're gonna take him out with limit breaks. Maybe we can get a good run at Tifa's limit break. That would be nice. Cause we haven't had a good one yet. I'm just gonna go with hits. And if that doesn't do it, then Meteor media Rain will. It's cool watching her pile drive him. 
Like I said, we could probably just hit him with ice too and end this whole thing. So there we go. He's not a particularly hard enemy, he's just complex. But he's also interesting in the kind of the scope of the video game. Uh because he's so detailed. So now we've cleared out the mansion. This is all we can do in the mansion right now. Uh, it's been a fantastic adventure. Uh, but now what we have to do is we're actually going to have to go past the town over Mount Nebel and uh, past the reactor. We actually have to... Uh, we have to cross the... We have to cross the world into the great unknown. And that's fine. I mean... So, uh, yeah. And we won't be actually going to the reactor. There's nothing in the reactor at this point. We may be going to the reactor later. I'm not sure. Uh, it may also just be rendered as an environment because we had to go there in the past. I'm not playing uh, terribly ahead at this point because uh, there's so much to do in the first disc of this game that, uh, you know, uh, did the real challenge with the first disc of this game is to not become obsessive and just, like, do crazy, crazy, crazy things. Like, let's go back to the stupid battle square or anything. So, uh, this is a good place to stop this video. When we come back, uh, I'll have used a tent and we'll be going over the mountain. Uh, just like that bear. Um, you know, the bear that went over the mountain to see what he could see. Oh, bye everybody.